When it comes to concussions, I receive a lot of questions regarding the recovery process. Patients and their parents have often heard or read online about varying timelines on the return to normal, or for our student athletes, the return to the field. The reality is concussions is a functional injury causing a cascade of symptoms and altered body systems. Every concussion is unique. Even within the same athlete, symptoms can vary between their first and or their second concussion. Most people just consider headache to be the primary symptom of a concussion, when in reality, there are several symptoms to look out for, including dizziness, nausea, neck pain, mental fogginess, and intolerance to things like activity, light, and or sound, among other symptoms. Because of the variety of symptom presentations, there is no timeline on recovery following a concussion. Research has shown that 24 hours after a head injury and a resulting concussion, the return to learn process is the number one priority. Through thoughtful modifications of the school environment, an athlete should be returned to school as soon as possible. The return to sport process is another hallmark of concussion management and requires collaboration between healthcare providers, including physicians, physical therapists, and athletic trainers. Our goal is to return our athletes to sport in the safest way possible. If you suspect your child has had a head injury and a resulting concussion, it is imperative that you seek out medical care from providers who specialize in concussion management. Depending on your physician's recommendations, it is also important to ask if you need physical therapists and or assistance from a physical therapist that specializes in concussion management. Some of us might even be here at the Young Athlete Center.